Hi, everyone. Welcome to Pilates Inspired Bone Strengthening, where we do some strength training concepts based on the work of Belinda Beck and also from the recommendations of Laura John Gregorio and our team of researchers who published the clinical practice guidelines for osteoporosis. So we have a lot of evidence behind the exercises that I'm selecting for you to do today. One of the exercises that I've been wanting to add is the, the back squat. And I'm concerned about people having a barbell, a heavy barbell on their back at home by themselves, if they don't have a spotter or the proper equipment to place it on. If you are training at a gym, you'll have a hook that you can just stand underneath it, get it on your back, you step away, you bend, you do your back squat. And then you step backwards and you put it back on the barbell um, carrier. So um, if you are not at a gym, obviously, we have to figure out how can we do that exercise at home? And one of the great ways to do it is using a backpack. So what I've done is I have put a 25 pound weight into a backpack. So I'm gonna show you here close so you can see. I put a pillow in the bottom of the pack so that the weight doesn't hit the floor. If I put it down on the floor and it kind of has a place to sit. So I, I just have this really thin pillow in the very bottom that I stuffed in there. I'm gonna put one pillow in the back of the pack and then the 25 pound weight in front of that pillow, okay? And I recommend that you do this on your kitchen counter, that you set, set it up at, as a, a pretty high spot so you don't have to bend over to put it on your back, okay? So now I'm gonna zip it up in there and it's gonna be stuffed nice and full. You don't want the weight jostling around in there and kind of being against your back. So you always want a pad behind there. There is a pad in your backpack usually that prevents it from, from doing that, but I just don't want the weights to jostle around while you're all up on your back. Okay. So, because you, you can use water bottles, soup cans, you can use your dumbbells. You don't have to use this 25 round plate that I'm using here. And so this is a bar stool. What happened on Tuesday is one of the students in the class was sitting in a regular chair and put the backpack on. And so when you put the backpack on, you're having to kind of arch back like that. And then you're twisting and arching. And so that's probably how she hurt herself because you don't wanna sit this low and then try to arch back and then put this pack on and you've got to twist and, and get it on your back like that and you're pulled way back like this and then you're trying to lean forward and put the weight in the right place. So it's not really a safe way to put it on if you have low bone density. So what you want is to have it a little bit higher and what I'm gonna do is grab it like this and grab it next to me. It's only 25 pounds so I can carry this very, fairly easily. I'm gonna put it on my kitchen counter right here. And then I'm gonna turn around and it's gonna be just at the perfect height to get it on safely. And then I'm just gonna push into the strap so it's tightened up and step away from the kitchen counter, all right? And then when I'm finished, I will go back and put it back on there or I can, I can sit down like this in a, in a bar stool, this is a bar stool. Remember, this is not a regular chair. Okay, so I've got the backpack on and you see how we can do that safely. Okay, so when we get to that point, <laughs> that's what you can do. All right. Okay, guess what's next? We're gonna do the back squat now. So I'm gonna take my backpack and I'm just gonna bring it over to my kitchen counter like I was recommending. And I'm gonna put it on the kitchen counter and I've already, I cheated, I've already got it loaded up, right? I showed you how to do that at the beginning of class. So I've already got it loaded up. So it would just be sitting here waiting for me when I'm ready for it. And then I would turn around, put the um, strap on while I'm standing. So it's a lot easier to put them on while you're standing and while it's at shoulder height. Get my hair out there and it's all supported. And then I'm gonna pull on the straps and pull it close to my back first. If you try to stand up and the backpack is loose, that's gonna be struggle, it's a struggle on your back, so it's gonna overarch you. So pull the strap to you, put the backpack firmly, closely on your back, hold the straps in front of you, and then step away and make sure you've got it. If you don't feel like you have it firmly against you, then you can step back and put it back on there. Okay, so now we got the backpack on, we're gonna separate our feet, hold on to the straps, and then bend, so. There we go. So you're gonna feel that, hopefully that's gonna feel a little bit different than the deadlift, right? I feel it a lot more in my quads and you'll also feel 
that you're more vertical on your trunk with this one. Yeah, that's good. So once you get to 10, what stops me usually is the burning in my quads, right? <laughs> and then just take a walk around. You will be slightly tilted forward with a backpack on, that is normal. So with a heavy pack, you won't be like this because otherwise it really puts a load of extension through your back and it's not comfortable. So you will be tilted slightly forward with a backpack, that is normal. Doesn't mean that you'll be rounded in your back like that, but you'll be hinged forward at your hip joint. So you'll still be in neutral position, but you're tip, tipped forward a little bit, okay? Let's do our second set, feet wide. You can have your feet pointed straight ahead or you can have them turned out, okay? Whatever feels good to your hips. And then see if you can get your bottom <laughs> as low as possible to the ground, right? If you feel comfortable letting go, you can reach your arms out. That sometimes helps you stay upright a little bit more. If your backpack is firmly secured on there, you can reach your arms forward. Yeah, that's good. You would normally have your hands up here like that with a barbell. Yeah, that's good. I like arms forward so you can get your trunk to stay more vertical. Oh, yeah, I'm warm now. All right, now I go back to the kitchen counter and I'm gonna put my back to it. And it's at the perfect height to place it on the kitchen counter. And I slip it off my shoulders, lean it against the wall there, and we're all set. <laughs>